Hi guys, this is Young Yu and I'm here with Chris Boyle. How are you going, Chris? Great, Young. And uh, Chris, you may may not know, he's a property investor. He's been doing it for a while, and uh, look, he's been able to replace his income through property and doing property development. Is that right, mate? That's absolutely right, mate. I'm loving it. Yeah, and so you want to just share with uh, listeners here and readers here, you know, how you've been able to do that. I know it's been a bit of a journey, and uh, you know, you've tried this, you've tried that. What have you tried, and, and now what, what what you find's working for you to be able to, you know, consistently make property uh, your full time source of income, and make six figures consistently. Yeah, mate, it has been a, a bit of a journey, mate, but um, to sum it up into one word would be momentum. So basically, um, obviously, I was a student doing your course, mate, and um, absolutely loved every minute of it. And um, by following your direction, um, we've been able to do small developments. And uh, progressively over time, it's taken up more of my time. And as a result of that, I haven't been able to you know, work full time. So um, I gave away my job um, nearly a year ago now. Wow. And um, I'm really enjoying doing property full time now. Um, We've probably done about four or five deals um, before I quit my job, before I decided to, to take the plunge into property full time. And now we've um, been able to do sort of about four projects, got three on the go at the moment um, since leaving my job. And yeah, as I said to you, it's, it's all about momentum for us. And that's something that I've definitely learned um, being a student of Young's. Awesome. And so look, oftentimes when people want to quit their job, they find it hard to get their head around, be able to get in money partners on board and get funding to be able to keep doing deals. So how have you been able to overcome that and what are any tips for beginners who want to do that? Oh yeah, look, I think a big part of it is, is confidence and um, having integrity. So, you know, if you're able to find good sites that, that um, can, can show that you've um, done your research, um, which gives you obviously the confidence and you can um, show that to other people who have got money but no time and you'll be able to work with them. Um, and then obviously integrity being that um, you only work with, with people that are integrous and other businesses that are operate uh, with integrity. I think that goes a long way with um, getting people to, to, to back you with their funding. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's very, very powerful, you know, building that confidence and just starting with small deals and making them work and make sure they're profitable, getting in and getting out, getting paid. And, you know, what would you say that your current three challenges that you're working through at the moment, Chris, and, you know, the future from here? Um, one of them would probably be the, the changing market. The market's always changing, um, particularly um, uh, in Brisbane, in, in certain areas where we're working at the moment. So that's always a challenge, just to adjust your, your development strategies around that. Um, also, um, I guess kind of investors change as well over the time, working with different teams of people and different investors. Um, their needs change over time, so it's just to be able to um, work with, I guess, dynamically with other groups and teams of people. Uh, not just investors um, and uh, other challenges always obviously finding sites is, is always um, a potentially a bit of a bottleneck so it's about again having that momentum and being a bit creative on how you're finding your next deals yeah awesome like look, really appreciate your generosity mate and look forward to hearing from you another time thanks young